In this video, I'm going to talk about the healthy lifestyle that you got to adopt if you want to have loads of love and laughter in the year 2023. Hi, Coach Val here and I work with men helping them to create an amazing marriage filled with love and laughter and I do this by teaching relationship science. In this video, I'm going to talk about these three elements. The first thing I'm going to talk about the different lifestyles you can have, unhealthy lifestyle that brings lots of love and laughter and the unhealthy lifestyle. Then I'm going to talk about how do you shift from being having that unhealthy lifestyle to having a healthy lifestyle and then one element, one factor that is needed in you to bring about that change. So let us jump in and let us start with the first thing that is the different lifestyles, lifestyle types. So the there are two different lifestyles that person can have. And um, the first one is called a hunter lifestyle. I'm going to explain a uh, little later. The second one is called a farmer lifestyle. So what is a hunter lifestyle? A hunter lifestyle is just like hunting. When a person, when a spouse sees that something is going wrong, that person hunts that negative quality in the other person with the hope that that quality will not appear again. Like for example, if you are somebody who wants the house to be spick and span and um, you see your spouse leaving a towel on the bed, you hunt that behavior down, hoping that the next time the person will not do it. And how does the person does it? By criticizing, by putting the, putting that person down, calling names, uh, hoping that the person will change. Now, this is called a hunter lifestyle. And why do we do it? The reason basically why we adopt a hunter lifestyle is that's how we have grown up. When we came home and um, we presented our marks card to our parents and we had probably we had gone got 95%. Our parents looked at the five percent that we didn't get and tried to hunt the reason why we didn't get that. Probably they went through a question paper, tried to figure out, trying to hunt the negative qualities, trying to hunt down the mistakes. When we made mistakes in the house, that's the same thing happened. We might do the thing in the right way 10 times and the 11th time if we make a mistake, the 10 times nobody says anything about it. The 11th time is when you're caught. So that's how we are. We grow up with it. And the second reason is we think that that will fix everything. And those of you who know that you adopt a hunter's lifestyle, things don't change. Now there is a second kind of lifestyle that you can have in your marriage. That is called a farmer lifestyle. So what is a farmer lifestyle? If you look at a farmer, he also wants to have a certain result, just like the hunter. The farmer wants to have whatever he wants to have. And what he does is instead of hunting it down, instead of hunting what he wants, hunting the negatives, he's nurturing the positives. So a farmer is somebody or the person who is adopting a farmer lifestyle is somebody who is looking at the positive qualities of the other person. And he keeps nurturing them. As he nurtures them, the, the spouse feels good about themselves. So the a uh, farmer lifestyle person will uh, look at the light on once and he won't say anything. He'll just put off the light. He won't ask who's the person who kept the light on and you know that it is there's only one more person living in the house. So you put the light off and then uh, he sees something that the spouse is doing well. The person appreciates and the goal is that person has is let me focus on what is right. And as I focus on what is right, the right will grow. Just like what I want to grow, there is a seed that is growing. There is a, there's a plant that is growing. Let me nurture it. Let me nurture it. And that plant grows into a tree. And that's how the farmer, person with the farmer lifestyle uh, goes about. Whereas the hunter lifestyle person is just scanning the environment to look for something negative. So now there is a big question that you might have in your mind. Does it mean that I should never tell my spouse his mistakes? Of course you should. But the way you tell your spouse the mistakes, 
makes the huge difference. You can tell your spouse the mistakes in a hunting manner, being aggressive, uh, critical, blaming, calling names. This is a hunter, hunter way of uh, pointing out the mistakes. The farmer way of pointing out the mistakes is like a farmer when he looks at the field and he sees that uh, there are a lot of weeds there. He pulls them out very gently. He's not aggressive because he knows that if he's uh, too rough, even the, the plants that he wants them to grow can be uprooted. So he does them very gently. So the person who has a farmer mindset will tell their spouse very gently something that they would like to see. And then just leave it. Leave it. Because they know internally that their spouse is a wonderful human being. The next question that comes to is how do we change? from hunter to a farmer lifestyle. So if you are a hunter, let's start with the first thing, that is if you are a hunter. If you are a hunter, then probably you are just keep looking at the negative qualities of your spouse, hoping that if you correct them, things will change. The thing you got to do is the next time when you see a negative quality, take a pause. Take a pause and tell yourself it's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's say there is um, some water on the floor. It's okay. It's not a big deal. And then when you see your spouse doing something right, the next time there is no water on the floor, appreciate that person. Appreciate your spouse. And this is how you move from being a hunter to a farmer. Now, suppose if your wife is a hunter. Now what do you do? If your wife is a hunter, that means she keeps picking out on your negative qualities. What you need to do is you got to understand why she is doing it. The reason she is doing it because she wants to be loved. Not because she is negative, she is always critical. No, she wants to be loved. And whenever you are not doing the way things that need to be done the way she wants them, she doesn't feel loved. And your goal is to love your spouse the way she wants to be loved. Because we have something called mirror neurons inside us. And when we feel loved the way we want to be loved, we start loving the other person the way he or she wants to be loved. So when you start loving your spouse by doing the things that she wants, the way she wants, an immense amount of love comes in. And after some time, she won't even bother about it. She won't even bother about those tiny things because she knows deep down that she matters to you. And this time, probably you forgot. So this is the way you move from hunter to a farmer lifestyle. Now there is one big quality that you got to have in all this and that is consistency. You got to be consistent because this hunter uh, mindset we have been we have uh, you know grown with it. As we were growing up we have grown with this a hunter mindset. We have seen it in the school. We have a, we have seen it in the house. We have seen seen it in the uh, in the places where we are working. So we have grown with this hunter mindset, and it won't change overnight. Especially in a world where everybody else is a hunter, trying to hunt down the negative qualities. So it won't change overnight. So the quality you got to have is consistency. And if you are somebody who wants to be consistent in growing this farmer mindset so that your spouse changes, you have loads of love and laughter in the year 2023, then I invite you for a very special masterclass that I'm doing. It's a free masterclass and uh, the link that you see out here, that is coachval.co, just go there, sign up for this masterclass and attend the masterclass and you'll learn a whole lot of things about how do you create love in your relationship by learning relationship science because the relationship is a science. So that's all for this video. What I want you to do right now is go to the comment section and write down one thing that you have really liked in this video. What's the one thing that you have learned? Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell icon so that you get the notification first every week when I put up a video and press on that like button if you like this video. And finally, if there is somebody in your life who needs to hear this, please pass it on. Do a favor to that person and pass on this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the, the five do's and don'ts to create an amazing marriage. So just wait for this video to end and in the end card, you'll be able to watch that particular video. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great 2023. Bye-bye.